Pua. What's going on guys, it's Flux here and welcome back to the Industrial Park and this is the product of many hours of work. I know it doesn't seem like it, uh, but it is. Uh, today is Friday, is the day of recording. Um, I just released the last episode today, um, as of recording anyway, and uh, I came home from school and I took a look at the comments. I took a lot of your guys' advice in terms of suggestions and stuff. A lot of people said that I should have much longer ride, um, more hills, etc., etc. So this is it. Let's just follow this thing. I guess we don't have to really click on it, but um, I'm much happier with this ride than the last one. Got a lot of airtime. I think it's something like 12 seconds or so of airtime. Um, I like how these coasters pass each other on the way down. Um, the one thing I'm a bit worried about is when I do custom supports, so kind of see what I'm going to do. Uh, if you, I think I said this earlier, but if you've seen the Millennium Force before, um, I'm going to use big uh, kind of squarish supports going up like that. And these areas might be a bit uh, dense, so I'll try and make that work the best I can. Um, that's the only part I'm really worried about. But uh, other than that, this thing went pretty well. Uh, all the block breaks work at perfect times. Um, and I think this one's probably the most natural spot I can make it be in. Uh, I mean, it's it's not necessarily easy to make block sections um, whenever it's so high up, but I want to make this coaster really high up, have a bigger drop. Right now, the drop is at, I think, 200. Um, so much taller than the last one, which is like 125, so that's not very high at all. Um, but that's that's it right there. Um, I think that the ratings were here. Yep, uh, 8.4, 6.35, and 3.7. So... Uh, pretty much a lot better than the last ratings, which I know, I know a lot of you guys said ratings don't matter, and I kind of agree, like, I mean, if I were to say submit this thing to any designs, or, you know, later on in the future, no one's really gonna see the ratings that much, but, I don't know, I wanted to have a big, awesome coaster that had good ratings at the same time, so, um, I think that this is it, this is the coaster that I'm looking for, so, um, that's that, and I think I'm gonna be putting on some scenery for this episode, um, obviously this is not even close to being done. I'm going to do a lot of work on this thing to make it look good. Um, like I said earlier, a bit nervous about the fact that there's four different hills in a row right here and I got to deal with putting supports on all of them. Uh, in a way it looks natural. So that's a bit, um, of a challenge, I guess. Uh, I do have a backup of this thing as well as a previous coaster type in case we don't like this one. Um, so no real risk in all this stuff. I'm just going to kind of do what I what I can and see how it looks and then you guys can let me know what you think of it in the comments down below afterwards um, let, I, I give this thing a chance too. I mean if you don't if you don't like it right now I I, I bet you that like 90% of the reason why is because it looks so bare or maybe that's not it but it, to me I think that a lot of people judge coasters and it's tough to whenever there's no custom supports yet um, so we'll just take a look at it see how it goes um, do the episode on it today and then we can see later on um, if we like it or not, we can always remove it if we don't like it. So uh, that's that. I the one thing I do worry about being so tall is just that it kind of like blocks the like this whole area right here. Um, but I guess it doesn't really block it too bad. I mean, uh, it should be fine. We put stuff down, and it, it should be fine. I also I think the great thing about this coaster is I would love to ride it. Like um, sometimes I don't think I'd like to ride my coasters like this one. <laughs> I mean, it actually I probably would anyway because I love the scenery around it. Um, but to be totally honest here, I think doing a backwards headfirst spiral down here would not be very fun. Um, and I'm sure they don't either. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but um, I probably would still ride it because of all the scenery. I mean, it's kind of a cool spot. I wish people, I wish uh, amusement parks made more rides where they went, uh, you know, through big buildings like this. But I guess that makes the coaster like 10 million times more expensive when they do that, so they don't do that. But that's why we have games like this. So uh, anyway, back to what we're talking about now. I'm going to go head on into the time episode now and see if we can finish the scenery on this thing. So I'll be back in a minute.
and we're back guys and this is Stratos the uh, nearly finished product of the ride uh, you can see I put a lot of work into these supports uh, every last detail uh, was put into place I guess you could say uh, I really like these I don't know so I, making supports for gigas has always been a challenge for me you know because they get so tall and um, I don't know I was very uh, experimental with these I guess you could say I don't know if I'm gonna include all the footage in the actual finished product it took me a long time to get these the way they are uh, I looked at various giga coasters in real life and by that I mean mostly the William Force uh, <laughs> and how they kind of have large supports with cross beams and I wanted to incorporate the red in there to kind of match the uh, the red of the station and that worked out just fine um, it's kind of an open feel to it which I kind of like it's not so um, it's not like a wooden coaster, but it's not. It's also not like a, um, you know, like it is default with these little tiny thin supports with these giant 300 whatever. Actually, it's only 200 um, foot drops. But actually, it's kind of ironic. <laughs> um, technically, a giga coaster is named a giga coaster if it's more than 300 feet tall. And um, <laughs> usually, you don't see 300 foot tall giga, giga coasters in Tycoon 2, but whatever. What are you going to do? So... Anyway, you can see I did use um, eight cars to make the wooden roller coaster track uh, basically go inside of the Giga Track, and um, it actually is a Giga Track like on top of it. It's not just like wooden track only. Um, so that's kind of how it went. I kind of like it actually. I like the look of the wooden track over top of it like that. I kind of like how it. I, you can see it better, I think, if you do this. Yeah. I don't know. You can see it better on this side anyway because there's no change in the way. But um, I think that worked out kind of well, the way that worked. Um, and I'm surprised this has no supports here. Maybe I'll put some supports down just to make it more realistic. I don't know why it like didn't even put default supports there. Anyway, um, so that's that. I wanted to give you guys a little update here and just show you guys the coaster itself. Uh, we'll probably ride it, or at least I'll just let you guys watch it. Um, once we're done with the whole thing, I uh, still got more to work on, but here are the ratings if you didn't see them already. I think that they improved a little bit since last time, 8.52 now instead of whatever it was, like 8.4. Um, but now I plan on doing a similar look to this with like the uh, the bushes and stuff, but I think a bit less. Um, I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet. I guess we'll just see when we get there. Um, I'll probably just experiment, to, exper experiment with it a little bit, man. I'm like tripping on my words. It's like, what? almost midnight here now and I'm still recording because it's Friday and um, I don't know I was feeling pretty inspired after uh, getting some awesome suggestions from you guys in the comments on what I should do and plus just watching POVs roller coasters like all night that's what I've been doing like that and this so <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get back to work now so uh, I'll see you guys in a minute
we're back guys and this is the final Stratos coaster with all the scenery put in place including the trees and the foresty kind of area all around it. Um, I'm not gonna lie, uh, the longest portion of the entire scenery build was literally the last few parts I added on like the little these pieces right here, these pieces along the top, and then this little top part because every time that I like opened the thing and then I started the trainer to make it work the second that I tabbed out so I could, um, cause basically I think I've said this before, but you can't save while you're in zero clearance mode, uh, with the trainer, you have to tab out and then click, uh, um, restore clearances and then save or else it'll like mess up your game. Um, and every time I tabbed out to restore the clearances, I tabbed back in again and I got a trapper error and it happened like eight times in a row. So I had to keep rebuilding this part right here. Luckily the last time I did it, it finally worked and I got the recording. So that, that was that. So it's fine. Uh, but that was a little ridiculous, but I don't know. I still haven't figured out exactly what causes trapper errors. I, I posted on Reddit about it, like, while I was doing it, so maybe I'll get a response uh, between now and then. But uh, regardless, this is the final ride. Let's just find a train that's leaving. Here we go. Um, we'll watch it from this side. I would click on the train, but this coast is kind of more about the whole overall picture, so I'm just going to kind of follow it. But you can already see off the bat, I made this little top part here um, with a little spinny thing. You can't really see it because you can't zoom in this far from this high up. Um, and the little lights and stuff. I love these lights, by the way. Um, I think they were in Lewis's pack, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's in the other one. I got, like, two different packs, uh, but regardless, I like how that turned out. Uh, both spot, both spots have a little bit of a weight. Uh, this one's a bit less of a weight than the other spot, um, but that was just kind of the way it worked with the, uh, the timing. But I do like how you'll see this. When it passes here, they, like, pass each other right over here. I thought that was kind of cool how that kind of worked out like that. Um, other things about this coaster. Oh, um... Well, there's. I, I was worried about these turns here, and it kind of worked out. I just didn't put wooden supports on the inside turns. I just left them the default. Uh, this spot was also kind of weird. I just made one big, and then I put these little, like, holder things outwards just to kind of make it more realistic. But um, these things are kind of hard to use, the, uh, the big wooden ones, uh, without basically making a wooden coaster. Like, I didn't want it to be entirely supports. And they're not supposed to be, like, looking wooden. I made it kind of gray so it looked like iron or something but um they uh i don't know it's kind of hard to to use them properly like the way that giga coasters use them because most giga coasters have much thinner supports than this like they're not so dense in these blocks but that was the best i could do and i think it looked pretty good actually in the end i also you probably noticed uh, covered this thing in trees and forest uh to me this whole time I've been, I've been, you know, like working with this area. I just felt like it was kind of out of place that like it suddenly got really thin and then dense again, like in this little middle area. So I put a lot of trees there just to kind of fill it out, um, and I think it worked out pretty well. Although I just see a little repeat pattern here. I'm just gonna get rid of this one or something. I should make it better. Um. Anyway, um. That's. Oh, I still forgot to fix this part with the zero clearance. I always forget. I need to go back. Um, I'll probably do it off camera again. Um, and uh, put this thing here. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I thought of this, and I think it's a good idea. Uh, someone said it way back in the comments a while ago, but I kind of forgot uh, who it was and all that stuff. But, oh, look at that. Why is it? Oh, I didn't change the train type yet. Sorry, I, or, I previously changed the train type to be uh, red and black instead of just red and white. I think that looks better. Anyway, um, someone recommended a while back that I go ahead and you guys remember in the mega park i actually had a little um a little glass box and then i put like one person in it and i called it like the uh the official flux park representative or something um just for fun i guess because like one person's opinion doesn't really matter so i just put him in there but um uh i think i'm gonna do that again this time but i'm not gonna tell you guys where it is so you guys can uh Download a map when I'm done and see if you can find it. I think it'd be kind of fun, kind of like a Where's Waldo style thing before my park. Uh, so I'm probably going to put it in randomly sometime off camera. Um, it may be in this area where it's already built, maybe in a new area. Um, but it's going to be somewhere, probably around the park. That's your first hint, I guess. It'll probably be around like the actual paths, like somewhere you can see him. Um, not like <laughs> under the supports or something. Um, but I will make him like visible. I'm not going to make it so to like destroy scenery to get to him or something. It'd be kind of stupid. Um, so it'll be probably in plain sight, but just somewhere where you wouldn't expect it to be. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'll hide it somewhere creative, I guess. Uh, but for now, let's open this thing. So Stratos is officially open. Uh, hopefully this pulls everybody out of this area because the only complaint I've had in my park, it's still at nine and nine, but 
people are saying it's too crowded, so hopefully uh, they're all going to go rush over to the entrance over here. I actually like the way this thing worked out in the way that um, the whole coaster seems to be way over here, but at the same time you enter like way back here, so I don't know. I kind of like that. It just kind of goes through the whole park, so you'll see it. Can you imagine being in this park? Just like, no matter where you are in the park, you can just look up and you're like encased by a giant like steel coaster of awesomeness. I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool the way that worked out. Oh yeah, there's a closer view of the uh, the top part here. Um, are they getting on? Oh yeah! Did I? I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I I think I did actually, but whatever. Um, I, sorry, I, like, I, I literally recorded the last part like yesterday, so I'm trying to remember like what I already mentioned or not. But uh, I used the uh, eight cars to make a wooden like a wooden coaster like track going reverse down this way uh, so it kind of looks like uh, catwalks on the side of this giga coaster I think they'll work pretty well um, don't know if I said that already but yeah that's what I did no one's on this one yet so probably on the next one there's actually like five cars running on this thing just a lot of them are inside at all times looks like yeah that one didn't even get and it's filling up quick wow look at that like everybody headed over here this is going to be really packed, this little main town. I kind of like this as being almost the main village area right here with the uh, little corner. I like this spot. Uh, I might try and like replicate a, a similar main corner area back here, but uh, that's all kind of up in the air right now. I don't know exactly what I'm planning on doing next. Uh, probably some more inner park work now that I've gotten a big Giga Coaster in. Um, usually I'm not too like daring in terms of building rides. Like... To me, a really tall ride usually doesn't look too good, uh, so that's why I was kind of nervous in making a tall Giga Coaster, and that's why my first draft of it was like 125 feet. Um, I kind of have like a fear of building too tall because it it usually doesn't work out too well for me. Um, I'd rather have like low to the ground coasters, or if it is tall, like the uh, Flight of Fear. I mean, wait, Fear Factory. Kind of. I don't know why. I always imagine this is Flight of Fear from Kings Island. I don't know why, but it's not even like a hanging coaster. But whatever. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, this is like one exception to that, and I built like tall buildings to kind of make it look like it's low to the ground anyway, even though this drops like 125 feet, I think, or something. Or not to the bottom. All the way to the bottom would be 125 feet. Anyway, um, that was kind of my thinking there. Anything else I wanted to mention before? I don't... I think that's it. Uh, I had like a lot of things in my mind while I was building this, because this, this coast took a long time to build, um, but I'm glad I got it all done in one episode. Uh, fortunately for me, and I'm sure everybody else, uh, we get Martin Luther King Day off uh, in the U.S., so I have Monday off, which means I got a three-day weekend, so um, I'm pretty much just relaxing all weekend and doing this. Like, I just, I spent, like, all Friday night building and then Saturday today morning working on it uh, to make it the best it can be. I don't mind investing more time on the weekends to these episodes to make them better than the average episode, so... I'm probably just going to dive into the next episode uh, right now, but I'll wrap this up for now. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.